Can you tell which of your apps are tracking you? Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Suknanan, and this is your Daily Pitch. iPhone apps from major companies like Expedia, Hollister, and Hotels.com are recording everything you swipe, tap, and type while you use them. That revelation published in a TechCrunch investigation sparked a lot of fury on social media. One person even posting a video showing him delete his apps with the caption, how's this for a screen recording? Data privacy experts told us the average person has no idea how much data their apps collect on them and can share with third parties. Researchers with the International Computer Science Institute developed the Lumen Privacy Monitor to find out what apps are actively harvesting user information. Abbas Rizakbana is a computer science researcher who worked on the project. We found that the vast majority of your apps are um, using what is called third party um, advertising and or tracking services. 70% of apps studied were connected to at least one tracker. One in four of those trackers collected a unique identifier of the user, like their phone number or a device's specific identity number. That can help companies build a profile of what you do across the internet. Even more disturbing, some apps made for kids leaked the physical GPS location of the Wi-Fi router the phone was connected to, which basically reveals the exact street address of the user. The only way you would know how apps are tracking you is if it's spelled out in the privacy policy. But even then, experts say privacy policies aren't designed to be useful for the average user. Florian Schwab is a data privacy researcher. The way these policies are written is that they're written by lawyers for lawyers. We, we kind of pretend that they're meant for consumers, but really they're written for regulators. Tightening up data protection laws has gained bipartisan support in Washington. Some, like the chairman of the Senate Commerce Committee, hope to get it done by 2019. For more videos like this, be sure to follow your daily pitch on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon for your next Daily Pitch.